Welcome to video 58 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the item pickup script which will enable us well to pick up items. I'll make a new C sharp script and call it item pickup. Open it up. I'll have uh, two variables private item master item master private transform my transform. Okay. Then in set initial references. Well, I need a, another method as well. I don't believe I need start and update. I'll get rid of those. I need a void carry out pickup actions. And it'll take in a transform. And uh, I'll just call it t parent. So this transform that gets passed in, it's the transform that will become the parent of the picked up game object. And that is the first person character. And this is going to be called by a, an event. And, and that event is, uh, well, event pick up actions. And that one itself will be uh, given a transform, which is going to be the parent transform. And that comes from the player detect item script. So we'll make a visit there. Uh, by the end of this and uh, just uncomment a line of code and whoops I've got the T there uh, so let me just fix that good all right so in the set initial references item master is get component item master I'm actually wondering if I actually need the reference to the transform no I don't because I'm not using it in update or fixed update or anything like that if you if you're gonna reference like a uh, transform the that property just like that once in a while, uh, it doesn't matter. So I need to, in on enable, set initial references, okay. And I probably should define, while, I, when I'm, while I'm here, I might as well do item master dot event uh, pickup action plus equal, whoops, plus equal. And that is going to be carry out pickup actions and also the unsubscribe. Okay. So I'll put here transform dot uh, set parent is t parent, okay. Item master dot call event object pickup. Oops, there we go. And uh, transform dot game object so it's set active false. So I picked up game object should uh, it becomes assigned to the first person character so it comes underneath that any uh, scripts that have methods subscribing to the call event object well to the event object pickup uh, when they when this happens then those methods will run so stuff like positioning the item in the correct place uh, setting the rigid body to is kinematic colliders maybe turning off uh, that sort of stuff which we'll get into later, you know, setting the layers, tags, or whatever, as required. Okay, and then last of all, disable the game object so we can't see it, and, uh, well, it's not doing anything anymore. Well, it shouldn't anyway. Okay, so I believe that's it. Let me go back uh, and go to the player. So to the player scripts, detect item, and inside of here was that line that I had commented out previously. I'll, I'll take away the debug log and I'll just write it out. Uh, uh, for the sake of just make it clear, making it clear. So item available for pickup dot get component item master and call event pickup action. And it needs a transform, and that's a ray transform pivot, which is the same as the first person character, uh, because that is what's assigned in the inspector on the player. Okay, so I'll just save that, and I don't need this anymore. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, and that's how it works. So you can detect an item because it has the correct layer, uh, the item layer. Uh, which is here, cost ray for detecting items. When that's possible, uh, this uh, variable here, item available for pickup, gets filled. And uh, if you press your uh, pickup button and you're in range, and these other conditions are satisfied, then this event gets called, it gets past the uh, first person character transform. And uh, when that event is called, 
then the item pickup uh, happens as well because uh, this event getting called here, call event pickup action, uh, is this here, uh, uh, is this one right here, and so any subscribe methods uh, will then get carried out, and that's exactly what happens. So it just flows through nicely. And I've just realized something. Going back here, call even pickup action. That's a spelling mistake. So a way to fix that quickly in Visual Studio anyway is to press Control R R twice, and then when I just put in a T here, it will automatically uh, make those changes. So I'll just hit apply, done, okay, and save that. And it will have happened uh, in other locations, so I can find all references. And uh, let me just jump over there, and I can see that it was changed automatically for me. Good, so it's fixed up and corrected. Okay, uh, so why don't we try it out now? So I need to... Uh, of course, attach the item pickup script. So I'll just select both game objects and do it at the same time. Done. And another thing is the layer is default, so the player detect item script can't detect it with this layer. We will write another script later to set that to the appropriate layer. But for now, just do it manually. Set it to item. OK, and let's hit play. And, yep, we've got our items. OK. Let me throw it. Okay, you can see it's gone out in the hierarchy. I can go pick it up, and there you go, it's picked up, and it's part of the player again. Okay, and I can select an item. Now, why is the... so, uh, I probably didn't explain that well in the previous video. So you notice the inventory is not updating, and the clear hands event is not getting called and because when that's called then the last item in the list so the list will be updated and the last item will then be placed in the player's hands automatically so that's not happening because the event object throw has nothing subscribed to it so it will not run it is null so why don't I just uh, pause that for a moment there we go and oh, actually now I'll just just get out of there okay so I'll Go over to the item master script, and yeah, what I should have really done is put these calls because nothing is uh, subscribed at the moment to the call event object throw. So this is null, and these methods are never going to run. So I want them to run. I mean, might as well have them run right now. And this one too, should put it outside, and that way the inventory will update uh, automatically, and the next object in the player's hands will appear. So let me go back in. OK, so I've got my object there. Throw that, throw that. Now it'll look a bit strange because the rigid body is on. So if I pick it up, yep, there we go. It appears on the player's hands because it's the only item in the inventory. OK, that's fine. Now, of course, it looks funny because, yeah, it's so rigid body is activated. Now if I just press E, get that. There we go. I've picked up the other block. And I've got both of them, and I can change uh, which one I've got. Okay, uh, so I can see that it is pretty much working. Okay, good. So that is the item throw and pick up working. Of course, now I need uh, to write lots more scripts to actually make it a sensible item system. So, you know, control the rigid bodies and colliders and set the layers, tags, whatever and get all that stuff going so that it's nice and proper. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.